All right, a little bit of a science lesson for you uh, snow conspiracy believers out there. Um, so there's a video going around on the internet that shows a, a few folks holding a lighter to snow and saying, oh my gosh, look, this snow doesn't turn to water when it melts. Well, water has a couple unique properties. Um, you know, it, these properties are why water freezes and has certain behaviors um, at certain temperatures. So <clears throat> two unique properties, well, not unique, two properties of water. One, that it hydrogen bonds. That's important because that's why the water doesn't drip off of the snowball, like my finger. See how the water is kind of, if I can get my stupid little camera to focus, the water is uh, just kind of like hanging on my finger there. Um, so that property uh, exists whether water is frozen or, or liquid. Uh, the other property is that um, of most matter is that to change phases you need to add energy. So you can have liquid water and frozen water at the same temperature technically. Uh, you need energy, you need to add, either add or remove a little bit more energy in order for the water to change phases. So you can have liquid water not melting ice. That's, you know, why ice can kind of hang out in like a lake for a long time. Uh, all the water in the ice is very close to the same temperature. So here we go. Here's a torch. It's a real torch. Here's snow. It's, it's real snow. My camera can zoom in on that. Okay, watch. Oh my goodness. There's no water dripping off of the snow. What on earth could be causing this? It must be chemtrails and the government conspiracy. No. What's happening is you're heating the water, the ice, turning it to water. And because water hydrogen bonds, it has a surface tension. And that surface tension causes the water to retreat back into the crystalline structure of the ice. It's basically a sponge. It's a very uh, high surface area. It's kind of like a fractal structure inside here similar to a sponge. It's why a sponge holds water and it's why the snowball is taking the, the melted water and sucking it into the snowball. Okay, the hydrogen bonding, that surface tension of the water is pulling the water back into the crystal structure of the snowball. That's your science experiment. The water is all still there, it's still melting. That amazing crystalline structure in this is the reason why you have a great big volume of snow and it turns into a little tiny puddle on your plate. It's not because it's not made of real snow, it's not because it's not made of real water. It's just science. Pay attention in school. Thank you. Have a good day. Okay, so apparently I have to explain this stupid uh, black snow thing too. So the people in the video you saw were holding the lighter uh, directly against the snowball. So if I do that with the torch... There. If I do that with the torch, it's not going to work. This is a really clean burning flame. All the fuel in this flame is fully combusted by the time you see the color. So I could do this all day. It's going to melt into that snow and it's not going to turn black. Let me take a flame which has incomplete combustion. See if I can get this to happen. Uh, okay, there's a little bit of blackness there. Okay, too easy. They just had a little bit more of an extreme case because they had a butane lighter and they were holding it directly to it. Uh, organic molecules in complete combustion. Uh, there's big, um, you know, chains of carbon in there that haven't broken down, and, um, and it's turning to soot, and it's leaving it on the snow, on the snowball. And that smell you smell is, I'd hate to say it, the smell of your own stupidity, but it's also the smell of the unburnt fuel. Done.